I know I haven't been posting for a while. Yes, I have been neglecting it. <laughs> no, seriously, I have no excuse for not posting, but yeah, I just wasn't able to. Simple as that. The other day was the International Day for Mental Health. And I know I'm very slow on the uptake and very late to the party, but I just wanted to share my piece on on that day and uh, no better person to actually give you a glimpse of how it is to live with a mental health disorder but than me um so where do we start last year i was officially <laughs> When I say officially, I, I always thought that I, I had it, you know. I diagnosed myself, like, years ago. But I was, I was really scared to get myself checked because, I don't know, because of the stigma when it comes to mental health disorders. I mean, come on, especially in the Filipino society. When we go to a psychiatrist, automatically you're going to be thought of as crazy, like psychotic crazy. And nobody wants to be psychotic crazy, especially in a psychotic crazy country like this is. <laughs> but yeah, so going back to my point. Last year, I, it's not that I really took courage, but my ex-fiance kind of, well, she made me get checked and uh, because of her pushing me to get myself checked I was I was diagnosed with major depressive disorder and I was given medication and pretty much for the past eight months nine months I I was a very good girl <laughs> I took my medication regularly. I was prescribed two medications uh, to help with my sleep, help regulate my sleep because I have not been sleeping for like the past six, seven years. Well, sleeping well, that is, you know, like healthy individuals. I usually just get an hour or so of sleep each day for the past six or seven years. And uh, so yeah, it helps regulate my sleep and uh, restart boot, root, reboot my freaking brain cells or something I, I forgot i mean sorry yeah I, i'm just a lay person okay but i'm pretty sure my th my my psychiatrist gave a very good scientific explanation on <laughs> how it actually helps my neurological system up there so i was diagnosed and i was pretty much a good patient i, I was a good girl i took my meds and I, I went to therapy, but I, I, I can't really blame anyone but me. I, I allowed myself to get back into the, re, you know, the routine of not taking care of myself. Just personal, <laughs> personal circumstances, of course. Some people might say that, nah, and they say they're depressed, they say they got anxiety, but you know what, they don't look like they're sick. Um, I got news for you guys, mental health disorders really don't have any physical manifestation, except, you know, if you're not taking care of yourself, like, you're not eating, you're not sleeping, you get sick. Yeah, sure, there's going to be physical manifestation for that. However, if you have a mental health disorder, it really, it rarely shows. At the outside, you're gonna look like a well-adjusted individual. Jolly, happy, and you know, kind of flighty sometimes, happy-go-lucky. I mean, you're just like a normal human being. However, at the end of the day, when you're awake, at night, alone, or at least alone in your head, you have a lot of thoughts going on. And it's really hard to process these thoughts. Some of them are just plain sad. Some of them can even lead other people to commit self-harm. So it really is a very serious matter. And just for illustration, a person with a mental health disorder 
can be both sad and happy at the same time. Just think of it this way. Look at the plants in my background. They're the same plant. However, on my left, looks like a healthy, well-adjusted, and very, very full of life plant. However, on my right, it's devoid of life, empty. It's just sad. Now take it in, one big picture. It's just the same plant. It's just the same person. We may look like we are happy, we don't have any problems. However, we do. And we're not okay just because we're laughing with you guys at your jokes. We're not okay. We're not okay. Not because we're going out with you guys. It means we're okay. We are not okay. Not because we're going out, having fun with you guys, working, being productive individuals. Doesn't mean that we are already okay. We all have something that we need to purge in our system. We need to get back on track. And I guess I want this to be my affirmation. I know I had lapses. I know that I am, I am responsible for my own health. So I want to get back to that. I don't like the feeling of not being able to wake up each day and feel energized. Sleep does not come easy for me. Some people may think or some people might come to my house and you're going to see all the mess that is inside there and you're gonna think that how oh, hell this person's one hell a lazy person as it's it's not that it's not because I can't pick up my own laundry yet I can create podcasts or I can manage a page or I can make live broadcasts it, it doesn't mean that I am well Sometimes we just need to do what we have to do in order to make that first step into re towards recovery. And that I really think that's, that's what I'm trying to do. So for those people who want to ask, are you happy, Jess? Or are you okay, Jess? Thank you. And I really, I really appreciate that. And I'm pretty sure you know such a person or if you don't know I suggest ask the next person the person beside you or any friend of yours ask them are you okay are you really okay because you don't know they might be fighting some silent battle I just had to get that out of my chest. Anyways, till next time. And hopefully, I'm gonna be that healthy person again.